Morning world, it's 10 to 9 in the morning. It's the 23rd of May 2013. We, uh, the moon is currently at 6 degrees of Scorpio, exactly on top of Saturn. And we are basically two and a half days away from the next full moon. The full moon in Sagittarius, exactly square Neptune. In that light, I'm going to take my astrological life in my hands and do something I swore I'd never do. And that is, I'm going to, after the success of that last Jupiter triptych, I'm going to do now to do a, a triptych on, believe it or not, Neptune. The full moon in two and a half days is square Neptune. So let's have a look at Neptune. Not so much about what it's doing right now, but more about how it works. So the, this is the negative side of Neptune. The negative side. Sit tight for this one. It's a hard one. Neptune on the negative side, on the challenging side, brings words like illusion, deception, confusion, gullibility, escapism, addiction. It is difficult Neptune aspects in the chart, particularly oppositions or squares to the personal planets, often show up in the charts of those people who do have semi-addictive tendencies, whether it be to drugs, alcohol or religion. They're looking for something to follow, some type of something to fulfill them. Difficult aspects to Neptune often create a sense of emptiness, of feeling abandoned or empty with no substance. And therefore, these people will try and find anything and anyone to fill those impossible holes. Difficult aspects to Neptune make people put others on pedestals. They see the world through rose-coloured spectacles. They see people as being the way they want them to be, rather than dealing with them the way they are. A difficult Neptune can lead to elements of physiological challenge, particularly around the glandular system and the fluid flows in the body. A difficult Neptune can bring the tendency to fall in love, to be seduced, to be enchanted, to be bewitched, as opposed to being in love. A difficult Neptune, for example, to Mercury, will, will, will bring, uh, on the one hand, a sense of the poetic, but also varied thinking and irregular communications. No sense of logic. And a difficult Neptune with the sun or the moon. Here we're talking about major confusion in childhood. We're talking about a sense of nebulousness around roots and foundations. I've seen Neptune at the bottom of a chart in the charts of people who can never find their home. I've seen Neptune setting on the descendant in the charts of people who just blissfully fall in love and become enchanted and seduced with completely the wrong people and end up getting very, very hurt. I've seen Neptune rising in the charts of those saints and mystics who genuinely believe they're here to save the world and then get really disenchanted, disillusioned and alone because no one else sees their goodness. And I've seen Neptune on the midheaven in the charts of people who go out there thinking that they're a film star and of course actually they're kidding themselves. Neptune in a difficult way, it eludes, it deceives, it's nebulous, it's about confusion and distortion it's 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 fog and cloud and mist and treacle and quicksand it is where the capacity for despondency and depression and particularly melancholy and neuroses lies neptune deals with the more subliminal the imaginative the fantasist but often the more negative sides of this at least when neptune's in a negative way Neptune is a very difficult energy to work with and anyone who comes into regular contact with Neptune energy would greatly benefit from having regular baths and drinking lots of water. You cannot predict Neptune, you cannot order or structure Neptune, all you can do, you can't even identify it, all you can do is sense it and flow with it. If you have a difficult Neptune in your chart, take basic precautions, don't drink a lot of alcohol. Don't eat a lot of heavily fatted, saturated fatty foods. Don't let yourself get addicted to tobacco, narcotics or anything where you need something or someone in your life. If you have a difficult Neptune also, have a clean and simple lifestyle because at the end of the day, that really works. 
Okay, I don't want to leave you too heavily, but I will, I'll do the medium side of Neptune possibly later today because this is quite a heavy way to leave people. But this, I stress, is the more negative side of Neptune. Catch you later. Bye.